Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goyal and in this video we are going to solve square root 2x plus 9 minus square root x minus 4 is equals to 3 and we have to find the value of x. So let's start with the today's video solution. So we can write this there 2x plus 9 under square root is equals to 3 plus square root x plus 4 x negative 4. Now I am doing squaring both sides. We can write this as square root 2x plus 9 whole square is equals to 3 plus square root x minus 4 whole square. So with the help of this square, this is square root eliminates, so 2x plus 9 is equals to, and here we are going to use a very famous identity, that is a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So it becomes a square, that is 3 square 9, plus b square, x minus 4 square root square, with the help of this square, square root eliminates, x minus 4 plus 2 times 3 times x minus 4 under square root. So 2x plus 9 is equals to 9 minus 4 is 5 plus x plus 6 under root x minus 4. So 2x plus 9, this positive 5 comes to this size negative 5. Negative x is equals to 6 square root x minus 4. So 2x minus x is x and 9 minus 5 is 4 is equals to 6 under root x minus 4. Now again I am doing squaring both sides. So it becomes x plus 4 whole square is equals to 6 under root x minus 4 whole square. So here again we are going to use the very famous identity a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b is equals to 6 square is 36 and with the help of this square this is square root eliminates so minus 4. So x square plus 16 plus 8x is equals to 36x minus 144. So x squared plus 16 plus 8x minus 36x plus 144 is equals to 0. So x squared 8x minus 36x give us minus 28x plus 160 is equals to 0. Now it becomes a quantitative equation so we can do the middle term split method here. So minus 28x we can write it as minus 20x minus 8x plus 160 is equals to 0. So from first two terms I can take x as common so x minus 20 and now from next two terms I can take negative x as common so x minus 20 is equals to 0. So if I'll take x minus 20 as common so x minus 8 is left. So either x minus 20 is equals to 0 or x minus 8 is equals to 0. So x is equals to 20 and x is equals to 8. So these are the two values of x. I hope it's clear and you find it useful. So please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.